Okay, now comes a magical moment. Does it fit? All right, good morning. Just get up from my slumber today, even though Honey Badger's gotta sleep a little bit. Now that I'm done doing that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap up all the little items that need to get done today, like install the air hose line, bolt that to the ceiling. There's another electrical line I wanna install as well. We're gonna install a workbench. I got a tabletop I'm gonna use for that, and then we're gonna kind of lay that out, and then I think that'll be the start of the garage. As anything else, garage is constantly being moved around and adjusted for your use, and this is gonna be the same thing here, but, this is a good start. When we're all done, I'll walk you through my thought process and how you do that. I appreciate it. We'll check back with you later. Take care. All righty. Just back from Menards, picked up myself a nice air compressor. Challenge is gonna be is get it out of the truck. I have to lay it down probably a little bit, slide it off the end and get it in, but I'm super excited. This is what the, all the electrical work was for. All righty, I'm gonna get it off the truck and get it in the garage. All right, first things first, I got it off the truck. It's, it wasn't too bad, it's not that heavy. All right, next is a bunch of lumber. I'm gonna build another workbench over here on this side of the garage. Right over here where this plywood is at, I got some MDF particle board. I got it actually on sale. I bought it because I'm gonna use it to work under there to make a duct to go out and bring my hot air out from underneath the cabinet. That's the big reason I got it. That's a good tip for you guys. If you guys are out at Menards or Lowe's or anything like that or Home Depot, they have these sales. This piece of board was all chipped up and nasty. I got that whole piece of whole particle board for five bucks. So I'm gonna use it, chop it up, do what I need with it, and then I'll throw the rest away and burn it, and we'll see how it goes. All right, now that I'm back, I got all my supplies, now it's time to get to work. I kind of backed myself into a corner, so I got a, little work, a lot of work to do tonight. That's all right, I'm excited, I'm feeling good. I got some food, I'll bring the cat out, she'll come out and keep me company, and we'll get going. Next thing's going on here is this parts washer. I wanted to get this bought, and then I'm gonna put it together and then put it up against the cabinets where they are laying right now and then I'll be able to go from there and build my uh, workbench. Next thing is a, a vehicle dolly. I'm going to use those to A, move the truck around and B, more importantly, we're going to use those to move the lift around tomorrow. The lift posts are about 500 pounds so look for that in the next episode but you're going to see the lift go in the garage so I bought those for lift. what we want right there. Perfectly level across into the back corner. So back corner is square, level right there. We're gonna put, we're gonna screw it into the wall here and then we're gonna work it across to get our, our height as we need it. A bit of shimmying over there in the corner right here. Super happy across the back, level, level this direction as well. So we're good there. Next step, these are all the little putsy stuff I was telling you guys about. Shout out to dad, he wrapped all this stuff up. He took this off a, a bench I gave him, giving me back my grinder. 
but he saved by bolts. So making my life a little easier now. Thanks, Dad. never done this before it's simple locking nut principle bottom lock bottom nut top nut you just knock the two together and they lock together there they go lock them together use the top nut and start it there you go simple as that these two studs are in we'll just drop the uh, grinder right on top of it like so and bolt her down get some brackets or some glue to glue this thing down so for now I'm just going to mount the vise the bench grinder and I'm good there I got my power strip in front here we're good and this is just going to be a working bench that's all it is I'm going to throw some nasty stuff on here I'm going to cock the back of that you guys got any comments about things I could have done different things you liked things you didn't like all that sort of stuff go ahead and leave the comments down below I'll, I'll listen to those if you guys have seen it before that's great. If you guys are learning and you learn something, please let me know. That's what I'm here for, is to help you guys learn and be a mentor to you guys. So that's what I'm doing. So kind of keeping this, the footprint narrow inside the garage here, on the outside of the periphery, as well as over there by the lift. Toolbox, I'm not 100% certain I like it there, but it may or may not stay there. I may put it over there in the corner. Garages are things you're gonna make your own. You can adapt it, change it, whatever you do. Alrighty, get back at it. is in. I'm just going to leave the rest of it here. I'm not going to do anything else with this workbench. I got a vise over here. I got a grinder over there. That's about all I'm going to do. Tomorrow I'll get some glue to mount this top to the frame that I built. Other than that, we're good to go. I'm going to leave the bottle open to see what I can do and I'll decide what I'm going to do with that later. I may leave it open. I may change it. Who knows? It's hard to say what I'm going to do. Alrighty, on to the next step. Okay, one of the ramifications of me not running electrical all the way down that wall is that I'm gonna have to do some other stuff to get electrical to where I want it to be. That's okay. I wasn't 100% sure what I wanted to do with everything, so I wasn't gonna run electrical over throughout the garage anyways. I kinda like the things hanging from the ceiling. Time will tell. I may not like it. You guys tell me what you guys think. It was gonna be a lot more sheetrock, a lot more work, and I just decided I didn't wanna do that. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I get to drill a hole through this countertop to run some electrical down. There we go. Okay guys, I'm calling the evening. Worked pretty hard today, picked up a lot of supplies. Used up a good chunk of those, I still got a few left. What we got done, I'm really happy with. All right, walk around the corner there. We got the compressor in the corner there. It's gonna go a little bit tighter in the corner. It's actually got three legs. I can turn it and take it off that pallet, which I'm gonna do tomorrow. I'm gonna stick it in the corner. So that'll be happy. Alrighty, I'm not 100% certain I like my toolbox where it is, but it's gonna stay there for the time being. I do like the parts washer where it is. It's on the right side of the workbench there. We are going to raise it up. There's a little bit of a difference here between the top of that and that. I want to see a nice smooth surface across there. In case we got to lay something down there, I'm going to raise it up. I got some two by fours. I'll do that a little later. I have not finished caulking the floor on this side yet. I got still that to do. Now the other thing that I want to get some feedback from you guys, I'm just still a little baffled what I want to do there. I want to do something along the baseboard there. I'm not 100% certain what I'm going to do. Worst case scenario, I'll throw down some wood down there, but I like to do something fun. All right, there's the workbench I got going, small workbench. But you know, I don't know how much you need in a garage like this. We'll see. I might find out I'm, I'm missing a whole lot of stuff. We'll see. You can stick a transmission up there or parts of an a engine up there, but then you can stick a whole engine up there, but that's okay. All right. Workbench over here in the corner, it's coming together. There's a few things on the end here I like to finish painting. I am gonna run water over there. I've decided I'm gonna run a water hose out there and a hose. So when I decide I wanna wash the car in the winter, I have that chance. 
Also, what we didn't get to, and I've been avoiding it, is down in there. There's the heating duct down in there. What I have to do is I'm gonna cut along this cabinet here. I'm gonna cut in this cabinet, do there, I'm gonna make a hole down there and then make a little duct. I'll have it come out underneath this baseboard here. And then once we get that in, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we'll run some water lines through there. Uh, the water lines are gonna be based down there where that register is, because that's the base floorboard of the house. So I gotta drill through that to get my water lines. There is water on the other side. On the other side of that wall is a washer and dryer unit, so I can tie into that water. All right, a little bit up here. I'm gonna leave that the way it is, the garage door opener. I'm gonna put a new garage door opener in, so then it's gonna get a new button to go with that. Little touch-up items here, touch-up up there. Still fighting with the right bolts and screws to hang that TV. Got our little new mascot here for the shop. Little Honey Badger in the corner. Got some decorations, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with that. Little detail items in here. I gotta put some mud in here. I totally screwed that up. And a little bit more mud in this corner here for the detail items. Once all that stuff done, I'm gonna come back and do some touch-up painting. And then when I glue that top down, we'll, we'll put some caulking along the back side of that wall there. All right, there's a motorcycle dear to my heart. I've ridden this motorcycle all over the country. The only thing I had left to do is take it up to Alaska, but this on the last motorcycle ride, she showed sign that she was dying and gonna be kind of unreliable. You can't go to Alaska from Iowa, basically about a 9,500 mile round trip ride without being reliable. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do that. Oh, and we turn around the corner here. The other thing I have yet to do is I had, yeah, I'm gonna fill in the baseboard there as well. I got some plywood that I used, I'm gonna to use to finish that cabinet. I'm also got some plywood to fill in the baseboards there. Kind of make that nice and clean. Wrap up the support over here in the corner as well in, in the new spot there. And uh, we'll do some touch-up painting, wrap up the blue as well. I think I'm gonna paint that the base of that workbench blue. All right, we're gonna call it an evening. I got some adult beverage in there I'm gonna go drink. I got some Chinese food I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna relax a little bit, download all these videos I recorded for you guys today and start editing those a little bit. If you're liking what you see, hit the like button down below, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification button for the next time I upload some videos. Plan to do those twice a week. I wanna know when you guys wanna see them, either Fridays, Saturdays, whenever you wanna see them. I can load them up anytime I want, whatever your preference is. Let me know, I'll take a poll and go from there. I don't really care. I'm recording them ahead of time, because that's what I do. I'll record them ahead of time and then we'll post them and send them out as needed. All right, good morning. I got my tea. Yesterday I spent most of the day running around picking up items, little fittings, little screws, items, little, little stuff that I needed to finish up the projects here in the garage. One of the cool things I did grab, I grabbed off of Facebook Marketplace. I got, finally found a sink that I like. It's about 19 inches by 19 inches, 10 inches deep. It's got a faucet already. I picked it up, I snagged it for 40 bucks. It was great. I uh, just took a little time finding one. I just was patient and waited and I ran around doing that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get going. It's the Futs It video. Lots of little items. I'm just finishing up little things here and there and we'll just get going with that. I'll check back with you later. All right, what I'm doing is laying out the garage sink here. Trying to find, I found the center of the cabinet, found the edge of the cabinet, found, gonna go from, find the middle of that, and we're gonna back off from there and then kind of get a nice end step from there. There is no template, so I'm gonna have to make one myself, but that's okay, we'll just do some measurements, measure twice, cut once. So we'll just take our time, kind of measure it out, lay it, drop it in there, and go from there.
Okay, now comes a magical moment. Does it fit? Bam! All right, basically this is a big game of Legos, just figuring out which plumbing part needs to go where to try to get the right angle I want and get the flow. Because of this vent here, I wasn't able to go straight back, as well as I also need to get that pipe in a lower spot to get underneath the wall into the basement. So that's what I'm doing, a little bit of ribbon scheme here, making sure I have good fall that direction. Into the basement where I'm gonna hook into a vent pipe and a drain pipe, but right now we're gonna get it in there and then I'll deal with that later. is to figure out all the pipes you want first and then kind of give an order that you want and then from there you can make your connections and that'll make life easier if you want to do that then glue versus glue as you go and that's I've never found that works well this purple stuff be very careful with it if it stains and gets all over everything it's also considered hot chemically so it'll burn into other stuff so make sure you're careful with it and what this is is a primer to get the 
pipe ready for glue. Time to glue. All right, this PEX tubing is just awesome. I can't tell you how easy it is to do. If you've never tried it, I would encourage you to do it. If you're gonna do a lot of, if you're gonna do a lot of work, it's really worth it. If you're not gonna do a lot of work in the house, dabbling in it, it's kind of expensive. The wrench and the couplers and all that sort of stuff is kind of expensive. But if you're gonna do a lot of work, it's definitely well worth the effort. Big key here is make sure you use it the scale to make sure that they get enough crimp on it. If it goes on, and then your, your crimp was good. If it wasn't, your crimp wasn't good enough. All right, we have pretty much everything in there. All I got left to do is vacuum everything out. Um, the big key here is that because it's a garage wall, what you have to do is make sure you fire stop it. So you use a product called fire block, either in foam or as in caulking. And that way you have maintained the fire integrity through that wall that goes into the main residence. You gotta do that, otherwise you're against code and you're also risking yourself if something catches fire in the garage here. So we're gonna call that done. We're gonna move on. Just like big Legos, copper, just kind of mark it out, out trying to figure out how it works. Got the down tube here for water to drain off. Here's the water down drain. You gotta find a uh, valve for that. And then we'll uh, run it up from there and go up the top up there. So here's a really good example. I didn't get this, this side clean as well because if you look at this, the solder flowed really well into this spot, but it would not flow in here. And that means I didn't get it clean enough. 
and it's probably not going to be a solid joint that I can take. I can be able to take it apart. So we'll be able to take it apart, put it back together, and then we'll clean it up. Soldered it and it looks like a lot better uh, product now. We'll, we'll clean up a little bit better after it cools down. Now you always want to wrap it in the direction that it tightens. That way it doesn't come unraveled as you tighten it and put it in there. Don't be uh, sparingly with this stuff. Right, remember, one's copper, one's brass, so you gotta be gentle with these. I use this better sheet of sheetrock to protect the wall. I have a little hole to fill in, but better a hole to fill in than a bunch of charring. Um, I didn't know if I was going to get too close to the wall or not. I didn't want to burn the paint. And uh, it's the best way I could have thought about to make this work. All right, what we'll do is we're going to connect this all the way up to there. And then we'll see if there's any pressure loss after we catch everything off and we'll plug, we'll pressurize it. Oops. Looks pretty good though. I think that'll hold. We'll see. New Hope Church. Where Abraham Lincoln was sure to lose the fall election. Okay, we got all the plumbing in, got it all the way around, got it all soldered in. So now comes the time to see if this thing has more holes in the Titanic or if I did a good job of soldering everything up. So look up there, should be all soldered up there. I even got the outlets up there down for the air compressor. Before I move the air compressor in the line and move it in there, I wanna make sure everything's good. That's what the airline looks like up there. I still need, I need to put the cover back on for the garage door opener, but that's what the, so I'm gonna run a flexible hose out of there, and then I wanna put the hose reel probably right where that electrical reel is, and then I'll move that electrical reel someplace else. Getting her done.
Alrighty guys, a little bit of post-production add on here. I wasn't too sure how many episodes we're gonna end up having. Turns out after I finished doing episode eight here, I just finished editing it. I wanna send it off to Josh in a few minutes. Turns out I'm gonna decide I'm gonna do 10 episodes. Nine's gonna be the lift and 10's gonna be the wrap up. We're gonna wrap up the garage, walk you through all the things I've done, all the little add on things since I did eight. And we're gonna talk about the budget. Everybody's looking forward to the budget. We're curious how that is. I'll talk to you about the budget, what I did, what you don't have to do, the ultimate cost for that. So appreciate you guys for watching throughout all these episodes. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and you guys will know when the next one comes out. Hit the bell thingy, you'll know exactly when it comes out. Appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks for following throughout the whole episodes. Talk to you guys later.